This is my beautiful daughter Stella and we're about to show you the uh, CGM in the Cloud app. First things first, you have to have a type 1 diabetic, in this case we have Stella, uh, and you have to have the Dexcom CGM sensor, Stella, uh, which is right there. Uh, we just put a brand new one in tonight, so we just had, it just came up online, and now what we have, now what we have is we have her Dexcom uh, CGM receiver here. That, as you can see, just came online not too long ago. Uh, currently showing that her blood sugar is 99. This uh, Dexcom receiver is plugged into a mini USB port. That mini USB port is connected to an OTG USB cord, uh, which you can see goes through to the other side of this little mini tackle box here. Which is plugged into a, an Android phone. Now this particular phone is the LG G2. Um, it works on most Android phones as long as they have OTG capability, which means that it will accept um, external USB port devices. Uh, if it takes things like keyboards or, or um, hard drives or things like that, then chances are pretty good that your Android phone is OTG capable. This is running the CGM uh, app that takes the data from the CGM, runs it, uh, sends it up into the cloud, into a database, and from there you can access that information from any uh, web browser, any computer, um, Apple, Windows, uh, Mac, whatever you happen to be using. Um, you can get into it from you know Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, whatever. You can also then uh, put it on your phone. In this case, this is my wife's phone. Uh, So you bring up the web app here and it will show you currently what her blood sugar is doing. Oh, now it says it's 94. So if she's just sitting there, she's right, she's writing right in there quietly. It also flips sideways. Uh, it gives you a little bit of history. And from here, you can also connect it to uh, the Pebble, the Pebble Watch. Pebble Watch is right here, which now also says 94. Everything's been updated currently. Everything's reading properly. You can wear this on your wrist. Uh, the Pebble Watch connects via Bluetooth to your phone. So the Pebble Watch does not work independently. There's a separate app that you have to download from Cloud Pebble onto your phone to make this all work properly. The phone is connected to the Pebble Watch by Bluetooth and sends data to the Pebble. So you need to make sure that your phone is in your pocket or your purse or your briefcase or somewhere on you, um, close to you. So, you know, however far apart your Bluetooth wireless system works. And that's how this all works. Then my daughter can go to school or the library or grandma's house, or she can stay home with a babysitter and my wife and I can go out to dinner or a movie. And we always know what her blood sugar is doing. And if we need to, we can call someone and say, hey, can you give her some glucose tabs? Or hey, can you give her a bolus of a unit? Um, whatever it might happen to be. So uh, pretty fantastic, pretty freaking awesome. Uh, we're pretty excited about this whole system. Again, tackle box, Android phone, uh, connected 